Adobe Max just happened and they released something that will change the game for photographers and filmmakers everywhere. The first thing they announced is not just generative fill in photos, it's also for video. That's right, you can now use generative fill in your videos to improve certain aspects. Use AI to implement different assets into your videos through Premiere, but even better than that is Project Stardust. This is something that is that actually blew my mind. As somebody who is no stranger to cloning things, no stranger to moving different parts of an image, Project Stardust allows you to just take that part of an image and move it. And it just fills in what's behind you. So if I wanted to move myself like over here, it would just fill in where I am right now. But it doesn't stop there because they made massive improvements to generative fill. We've all seen how it's gone wrong, but it seems that that's going to be harder and harder as time goes on because they keep making these powerful improvements to it. And one of the examples they showcased at Adobe Max, they had a lineup of people and one guy's face was kind of blocked a little bit. They wanted to make it so you could see all of his face but not change the photo a whole lot. So they just selected the girl whose face was cutting off part of his face, moved her, and AI filled in the rest of this dude's face. Now, it might not be identical to how he looks per se, but it would be pretty close. We've seen how powerful generative fill can be, but this just took it to a whole other level. This brings up the question because a lot of people are worried about AI taking their jobs. It's no different than being able to composite photos together. Some people say it wasn't really, it wasn't real photography then. Some people say that using the clone stamp to adjust anything in your photo isn't real photography because you're still manipulating the photo. But ultimately this is a tool for photographers to use to make our images better. Just like how the iPhone hasn't run photographers out of business, it's the person behind the camera. It's the person using Project Stardust to manipulate their photo to make it better that will ultimately get paid because there's going to have to be the creative brain in there to know what to do, to know what looks best. And photographers, we know composition, we know how to make images look good, and all this allows us to do is make them look better. There's nothing worse than coming away from a photo shoot and you're like, this image is nearly perfect. I just wish this person moved over a little bit. I should have said it at the moment. I didn't think to. Now you can just move them over. Oh, you can just move that object over. Oh, somebody wants their dog in the photo, but you can't get a good photo of the dog looking at the camera when everyone else is. Just pop it in, use AI to remove the background and then to, to blend it together so it looks like the dog's actually in the scene or something. This AI tool isn't going to take our job. It's gonna make it easier. It's going to reduce the amount of time you have working on a photo. And yeah, you might not be able to charge as much per hour to do the thing, but it allows you to either A, take on more projects or B, charge more because you're able to charge for the expertise of knowing how to use the AI to improve the photo. So rather than slaving away for hours using a clone stamp and trying to make it look proper, you just slide a person over and it fills it in or you slide whatever object you need to. Or with video, you can just change elements quickly. I haven't used Premiere in years, but this is actually making me think about it. So this is, this is a huge update. This is a game changer for creatives. It will, it'll shake up our industry a little bit, but ultimately what Adobe is doing here really is making our lives easier. If you look at the Adobe Max footage, people are cheering like there's no tomorrow for these features because they make our lives easier. It's like the AI audio editing that can take really bad sounding audio, improve the speech, and do it in a way that feels natural and like it was recorded in a podcast studio, which is insane. 
which is something we never would have thought of before because half of your video is your audio. If your audio is bad, nobody's gonna watch your video because it's gonna be painful to listen to and that changes it. And yes, it makes it so people who aren't as technically skilled have these things to fall back on. But it also makes it so that those of us that are professionals doing what we do best, it makes our lives easier, it makes things more convenient, and it allows us to deliver an even better product. Now, yes, you might have people doing the thing like they do with Photoshop already, being like, oh, can you change that? Can you take this out? Can you take that out? Always you can just say no, or, or if you know how to do it, you say yes, but comes at a cost because it's more work. It's not as much work as it would have been, but it's still work. It's still an expertise that you would have if you look into these features, if you play around with them, if you get familiar with them and you know how to use them. It can change the game for your own work. If you're a video editor, this will make your life easier. This will make editing videos quicker for you, allowing to deliver ahead of deadlines and thus get paid more because A, you're reliable, you're fast, and you can edit more videos in less time. So I'm, I'm a big fan of this. I'm excited to check it out. I'm excited to play around with it. I, yeah, sure, there's a part of me that's like, okay, where is this all gonna go? But I know that it's here now. It's not going anywhere. I have to adapt. I'm not gonna sit here and complain like, oh, these AI features are coming for our job. No, I realize what's happening. I need to get in tune with these features. I need to adjust. We all do, it happens all the time. Phones came out, we need to adjust. Digital cameras came out, we need to adjust. All the time in any industry, there are things that will be released that will change things up. That will make it so you have to adjust. And usually it's for convenience. And this is one of those things. Now, AI will probably come for some jobs. I think it's the less creative ones. I think it's the more logistical ones, the more menial tasks that AI will create and it'll ultimately make things more efficient, more convenient, because anytime there's been a new technology released, that's what it's been for, to make it more convenient. And at the end of the day, if you do that for people, you'll make a ton of money. And if you know how to use those things, if you're an early adopter, then it just gives you an edge. That's my point of view on all this. Let me know in the comments, what is yours? Are you excited about this? Have you played around with the features? Let me know. Consider subscribing if you haven't already to join along this journey with me. As always, my friends, remember to work hard, rest often, and I'll see you on the next one.